Hey, what's up, gang? I just uh, got off work. Uh, I, w- I work uh, 12 hour shifts overnight. <laughs> so, so every time I do videos, I'm like, like very, very tired and very sleepy. So if I stutter, if I mess up, or if I'm saying s- some weird shit, it's just that my brain is tired and my brain is foggy. You know, I haven't had any sleep. So, <laughs> so please forgive me. But, uh, I was just, uh, you know, reading online, reading the news, and uh, and I was just uh, tripping over this thing. This, a, uh, you know, they gave Obama his own holiday <laughs> in the state of Illinois. Um, you know, it's not national. It's just uh, within Illinois. They gave uh, Barack Obama his own uh, holiday on his birthday, uh, August 4th, and uh Illinois, let me read the article. Illinois makes Barack Obama Day a state holiday. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And uh, you just, you know, and I'm like, okay, let me just read it for you. Uh, former President Obama is being honored with a new state holiday in his former state of Illinois. Uh, Illinois Governor Bruce uh, Rahner, Republican, signed a measure Friday to make August 4th Barack Obama Day. In the state, according to NBC Chicago, the holiday will be celebrated each year on Obama's birthday beginning in 2018. Now, this happened on August 4th, which was this weekend, which was, which was on a Saturday. August 4th was on a Saturday. And it, and I find it interesting that uh, at the same time, they announced uh, giving Obama his own uh, holiday at the very same weekend in in Chi Town in Chicago, uh, they there were seventy four people shot, eleven fatalities in Chicago that very same weekend. You know, you know, a lot of shootings happened on that day on the fourth. A lot of shootings also happened the next day on the fifth. You know, which was on the Sunday, and. Uh, and it's, it's real sad that, I mean, this is crazy. 74 deaths, black on black crime, 74 deaths in in Chicago on one weekend. You know, living, living died, you know. I, I won't say, okay, let me get this, let me get it right. I 74 people got shot and lived out of themselves. 74 out of 74, 11, 11 people got killed. And uh, it is like real sad. Let me read it. It said at least 74 people were shot in one of the most violent weekends of the year in Chicago, spurred by a seven-hour period early Sunday morning with 40 people were shot. When 40 people, when 40 people were shot, uh, between 3 p.m. Friday to 6 a.m. Monday morning, 11 people were killed and 63 were wounded, according to the Tribune data. Uh, their ages span from 11 to 62 years old, and most of those shot were attacked on the south and west sides of Chicago. Uh, it's it's real sad, you know. But uh, you know, I just want to bring this up because I because I was just uh, you know, reading the news and hearing certain things, and they were they were, they were bringing up a Barack Obama's, you know. Birthday is a national, not national holiday, but state holiday in Chicago. And at the very same day, you know, yeah, all these uh, shootings in in Chicago at the very same time, black on black crime, not cops shooting on a black man. You know, this is this is a black on black crime. So you know, if there's a white, if there's a situation with like one white cop shot one black man, it'll be national news. It'll be all over the TV. People be people will be marching. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Be out there with billboards and picket signs, processing. But since this is a uh, you know black on black crime. You know, you don't really see like a big uproar about it, which is sad because you think uh, Black Lives Matter, did you know, uh, Black Lives Do Matter, they, they should be addressing black on black crime, but they don't for some for some odd reason. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, I just want to bring this up for you guys. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it goes to show you, man. You know, you know, you just uh. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's crazy, man. You know, I mean, people get there's no uproar with uh, black on black crime, but 
you know, with a police officer, she was an unarmed black man, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, they want to start the damn revolution, you know, which is very odd to me. I don't, I don't understand. I'm a black, I'm a black, I'm a black guy myself and I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? So but it, it's, it's weird because one thing I know is about the left. One thing about the leftists and you know, liberals, they project. They never take, they never t- get into accountability you know, being accountable for your own actions, you know, it's all about like projecting something else out there outside of yourself as the problem for you, as a reason for your problems, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and I just, I just find that very interesting, you know what I'm saying? That that's a, this, this is the main difference between like the left and the right. Uh, the, the liberal paradigm is about victimhood, about who to blame for your problems. Well, we'll come down to the right wing. It's about taking uh, personal accountability, personal responsibility for your own damn actions, you know. But, you know, I just uh, want to share this uh, little information for you. But I'm going to make it, I'll probably make it like another short video. And after that, I'm going to get some damn sleep. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. Y'all take it easy.